This is JT Max, and today I have uh, an exciting showcase for you to celebrate. Well, not really to celebrate, but to get ready for the 2015 Age of Ultron, Avengers 2: Age of Ultron. I upgraded Legos. Um, version of the Avengers and so let's get started I will not be describing Captain America Black Widow or Nick Fury because one I don't have probably enough time for that and two I already described them in my Winter Soldier video so if you want to if you want to I'll show them again I'll I'll show you a 360 of them but I'm not going to describe every detail on them so Let's get started with Thor. Uh, I'm particularly proud of Thor. Um, starting with his hammer, I painted it dark gray, and on each tip, I paint I painted metallic silver, and on the little knob on the top, I also painted metallic silver. Now I'll take that out. Uh, with his cape. Uh, I cut the cape down, and I kind of put some sharpie on ruffles on his cape. I replaced his hair because I think it's more accurate than the like the blonde um, Lego provides you. But this is more like a dirty blonde, and that's pretty much accurate to what he has in the movie. I used the Man of Steel legs, and I painted like a belt buckle and two. Um, blue with silver outlining. I painted a boot li boot line, black boot line, and half a hexagon with black and gold inside that light gray hexagon. Half hex, half a hexagon. And then for the arm, uh, I'll be describing one arm, and that would be so. Well, I had first gray, then silver, then red. Then black outlining with another silver and then a dot of gold. So that kind of took a while to do it both sides. And on the, if you move the cape, I had just red lines on each side of the leg because that is accurate to the costume. And then just the regular printing of the Man of Steel legs I think is accurate. And then just regular torso. I left the torso alone, same for the back, so if we put the hammer back in his hand, that is, whoops, <laughs> that is Thor. Now on to Iron Man, the armored Avenger Iron Man, and my favorite Avenger on Iron Man. Uh, the helmet I painted, I outlined the mouth and painted the eyes blue, I outlined the parts there. And then I painted the hilt, um, the black part there. I painted the black part. A ton of outlining, uh, and then I painted gold with three line with three lines going up because I felt like that the helmet should have more gold, especially on the back. And then the continuing of the outlining, and just the the black. So that's the helmet. I also painted the neckline to make it more like in the suit because I do feel like that is necessary to what MG, uh, Michael MGF does. Um, I painted the arc reactor in the same blue I painted the eyes with um, thin black outlining. For the belt, I had um, almost half circles, I guess, or hoops, not really hoops, whatever. Half circles and of silver and then a, a gold line on the boots. Um, I painted a half circle on the boots with a, um, a smaller half circle of silver. On the legs, there's these little tips on each side of the leg. And since Lego already provided that little detailing, I painted in that detailing. Um, this is also printed, but I, I painted that silver. So on the legs, except for the boots, on here, everything was printed. I didn't add any printing or... I just painted the, some of the printing silver. And on the arms, uh, he has silver inside, on the inside of his arm, and then gold um, wrapping around it and going all the way across his arm. 
and on each arm he does have a a little bolt on the tip of the shoulder that I that um, on a picture I felt was necessary and so yeah one three sixty um, I'm very proud of how this turned out because I'm not particularly good at it and this can still flip up to target stark. Now, Captain America, um, I'm just going to do a 360 on my upgraded figures, which would be Captain America, Black Widow, and Nick Fury. So, 360. This is not an upgrade, this is just like a Winter Soldier costume, but I think it's just upgraded stuff, so... So that's um, Captain Black Widow. Nothing pretty much on the back except for the boots. And then she has this, her signature um, Black Widow symbol, symbol. That's the only thing painted on the torso that I think Lego left out. And then the director of Shield, Nick Fury. Unfortunately, I couldn't put the trench coat on him, but uh, I, oh well, I'm, so, I'm sorry. But I did the best I could um, with the best printing I could or painting I could without the trench coat. So, painted eye patch line with pocket. Just zipper and knee pads and boots. So, that will... Then the last actual minifigure, which is will be Hawkeye. Now, I'll just describe the bow first so we can get that out of the way. The bow is just... I painted the, the um, bow, or the arrow actually, brown. And then just the tip in a light gray. So, as you can see, same for both sides. So now that that's in the way, and that's the original Hawkeye, um, also used for Green Arrow. But now there's a lot of change on them. One, I used Loki's um, slash Lex Luthor slash Bruce Wayne um, head, which Lego uses it a lot for its characters now. Which I'm glad because it's actually a good like head. That has good basis through like throughout all. It's a good head to start on for customs if you want to make a face, but I don't like making faces. So, and then just um, brown spiked up hair that Lego provide. And then for the quiver, I painted it black, and painted the tip of the arrow silver. On the wrist, he has um, the uh, the wrist like inside of his wrist right here, right here. That blocks the string of the arrow from hitting his wrist because that hurts. I've actually done it before. And this, the buttons call a shot like explosive, grapple, just normal arrow tips, whatever. And then he also has a pistol holster continuing from the Lego provided strap. And that that, that has two um, lining in the inside. And then he has the, his signature two bracelets. Or well, in the movie, to me, it's his signature two bracelets um, that I guess he also calls the shots from. I didn't do anything to the torso. I thought the torso was fine, very fairly accurate, and no back printing except for the quiver. And the only thing I did to the legs was paint half circle with lines going out from it for boots, and then just little tick marks there that I thought were accurate. And yeah. Excuse me, and that was Hawkeye. And I'm doing good for time because I have to be under like 13 minutes or something. Uh, Hulk. Um, well, I did nothing to Hulk because I thought Lego perfectly nailed him. And um, I chose the purple pants over the khakis tan pants that he has in the movie because um, I like it. The better with the purple pants because this is obviously the 2014 Hulk, not the 2012 Hulk, big fig Hulk, and he just has a darker green 
more accurate um well more accurate green i guess but i think the green's the same but to me it just looks darker um and um you can't really beat the classics and so i just concluded the purple pants and plus i have this hulk which i think is a better hulk and i didn't pick up the other hulk so yeah that's a problem i guess so this is jt max signing out on my lego avengers to gear up for the Age of Ultron, and when that comes around, when the Age of Ultron actually comes around, um, the reason I did the Avengers is because when it comes around, I'll be ready for it, and I don't have to make an up upgrade my Avengers to it. So, um, so right now, I am I am working on Loki, and then when more images come out of Thanos and Ultron, I'll be making them. So, right now, I'm working on the villains of the people. So, but when they come around, when um, the villains come around, I'll definitely be ready. I'll definitely make a video of all three villains that are going to be featured in Age of Ultron, Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, Loki. So, yeah, this is JTMS sign now on how to make Lego Avengers. And I'm glad the Avengers assembled in 2012. This is a little late for customs, but... Oh, well, I got out to you guys. So this is JT Max signing out on how to make a LEGO Avengers. Um, my upgraded LEGO Avengers. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Again, JT Max signing out. Probably the fifth time I said that, but oh well.